former finance minister Tenai Bidi, known for his prominent role in Zimbabwe's political landscape, was fined 300 US dollars and handed a six-month wholly suspended sentence by magistrate Vangai Muchichudi Gawuro. Bidi faced charges of assaulting Tatiana Alashina, a local businesswoman. The magistrate took into account Bidi's status as a diabetic patient and former minister in determining the sentence. Magistrate Gawuro acknowledged that Bidi, as a legal practitioner and former legislator, should be held to a higher standard of conduct. She emphasized the importance of protecting society and the expectation that Bidi would contribute positively to it. While considering Bidi's previous conviction, the magistrate deemed a custodial sentence too harsh and reserved community service for more serious offenders. Furthermore, she noted that Bidi attempted, unsuccessfully, to pursue an out-of-court settlement. During the mitigation phase, Bidi expressed his sincere apologies to Alashina, citing his fear of interfering with an ongoing court case as the reason for not apologizing earlier. He assured the court that the incident would not be repeated, emphasizing his non-violent nature and the disproportionate attention the matter had received. Bidi, a father of five with three children studying abroad, also highlighted his responsibilities towards his elderly mother and his support for orphans and widows in his former constituency. However, the state, represented by Tafra Kairambara, argued that personal circumstances should not overshadow other relevant factors, including Bidi's previous convictions. Kairambara emphasized the principle of equal protection before the court, stressing that the complainant, Alashina, deserved the same considerations and rights as Bidi. He reminded the court that Bidi had been convicted of assault and urged adherence to the law in determining the appropriate sentence. Let it go.